Some was on Zero's releasing in two days, and people are already shitting on its community. Man, I, I wonder why a community that panders to lollicons, furries, and weebs is going to be a nightmare. And I'll be real, bro. Hey, if you want your internet safe space, feel free to watch my content because I feel like we'll be the only sane community left. That being said, I have high hopes for this game. But it's also made by Hoyoverse, which means we have Hoyo stands playing this shit too. This is going to be, I think, the biggest cesspool out of any game I've ever played. And that's why I need to play it. Because this, this community will be a disaster. This community will be a train wreck beyond a shadow of a doubt. In the zone zero, I embrace the game to receiving numerous death threats because of this action. Great. Escalating to Donald Trump in a viral clip, raising Genshin Impact. <laughs> what are you talking about? So today we have so many different things to talk about in the cringe side of Zenless Zone Zero. So a couple days ago, I made a video about Zenless Zone Zero saying that it's not gonna be a main game and that although people are not gonna... Can I tell you why that's stupid as shit to even say? Because no gotcha is a main game. That's PvE. Now, a gotcha game can be a main game if you have PvP. But even still, even still, there's just not enough content. There's not enough content in Genshin. There's not enough content in Honkai Star Wars. And guys, I'm going to say it. There's not even enough content in Wuthering Waves. It's the truth. And that might make you upset. But that is the truth. Gotcha games are not meant to be main games. They're truly not. And I quit with Ingways because of it, it's going to be a good game, a fun game that we will enjoy. But in that one video, I called out Kuro stands and Genshin stands, which are uh, the exact opposite. And uh, I disagree. I feel like a lot of the Kuro stands are actually Genshin stands that have just moved on. Right? And I feel they're Genshin stands that just got older. And they want to be cool, so they want to play the cool game. But unfortunately, they're still bred from the same mentally deranged cloth. All I said is, don't hate on a game that you don't have any idea about. Just wait for it to come out, try it, and if you don't like it, don't play it. A lot of CCs reacted to that one video, and it was mostly positively received, and a lot of people were saying that they don't want to play the game because it's a Hoyo game. I also disagree with the, if you don't like it, don't play it. I feel like if you don't like it, you should shit on it relentlessly. You know, I mean, might as well get some entertainment out of it. I'm a professional hater, so that's kind of what I do. And that makes it fun for me because when I play a game and it's bad and I see people enjoying it, I get to make fun of them. It's great. It's kind of like being in high school and you see a bunch of little dorks playing their fucking Bakugan Battle Brawlers and then you push them over. And then you take the Bakugan Battle Brawlers for yourself because you also like it, but you just don't want to admit it publicly. Which is fair. Until I checked my DMs. <laughs> Why did you cover ZZZ? If you make another video, I'll make sure you don't make it to the next one. And then I went to my email to check for some sponsor. Yeah, but maybe he wasn't giving you a death threat. Maybe he was like some proud Nigerian prince that you're related to that's gonna die and he he wants you to inherit his fortune and all you have to do is give him your social security number and then you receive his fortune so that way you don't feel the need to make videos and you can just enjoy the game, you know? So if I were you, man, I would just send him your info. And one of them is kill yourself. Great. Jumping ship to Hoyo clowns already? It's not even a month, you sucker. You really love your grifting business, huh? And then the chair- Dude, I love promoting gotcha tribalism. People really think that you can only play one game. And if you play more than one game, uh, you're fucking Adolf Hitler, man. It's great. I love these terms, grifters. It's so good. Oh, you're only allowed to play Wuthering Waves. You're only allowed to play Genshin. Okay, bitch, make me. Do something. You got a bunch of these pencil neck dorks on the internet thinking that they're tough shit. Meanwhile, the idea of having to lift all of their groceries in one go makes them shake to their fucking size 13 custom seal baby leather boots. Like these, these people who you let control your life on the internet are the most pathetic motherfuckers on earth. And there's a reason why they use anime profile pictures is because if you saw them in real life, you'd realize that, well, you just bumped into a KFC, 400 pounds, fat as fuck. Nobody cares. Very on top. I found one of the most hilarious emails I've ever seen. This email is Uma's Musume's Creator Program, which is a game. So this is an email trying to paint itself as a sponsor. And here we go. Okay. You stupid clown. Why did you cover for me homo's game? <laughs> I've never thought of that. Homo verse. Me homo. Bro, that's crazy. I'm taking that. That's wild, bro. That's a good one. Yep. Instead of me hoyo, it's me homo. Oh. Yeah. Instead of sticking that's to so Uma, good. I hope Israel 
Climbed your ass, you desert cloud. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> and so, of course, I made a tweet and I responded, of course, with the same level. So I said, I'm receiving death threats because I made a video about ZZZ. I know that the photo doesn't show a death threat, so I followed it up. And I said, I don't know who that is, but I'm not from the Middle East to insult me like that. I have to quote Dantes. I don't know if I can say that on YouTube. And as I said, I followed it up by another one. He was going to say, kill yourself. Which says, you better kill yourself before I find you. Thinking you're funny, we will see. <laughs> and let me be clear, these messages don't actually affect me. I actually just keep laughing when I read them. Because it's like you took the time to do all of that to send that one message. Yeah. And try to show yourself as a sponsor. But I also made the tweet because of a couple reasons. First, because it's funny. Secondly, to show that we will respond with the same level and even worse. To okay. these stupid haters in the gacha community. Okay. And lastly, I wanted CCs to see that, and I'm happy that some of them saw it. Maybe I do not care about that, but I know that other CCs can be affected mentally with these types of messages. So yeah, I heard there was some other CC who broke down by being called a mint picker. Yeah. Yep. And then I heard another CC quit his job because he's immune to saying the word he's sorry. I mean, I, I, I don't know who these CCs are. I, I just heard rumors. Right. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of very sensitive little bitches in the community. So I'm glad Stewart's making videos like this, man. At least if they know that they're not alone, at least if we do reply to these types of messages for once in a while, would be good. So again, if this guy hated himself because of this tweet, I have no sympathy. I'm pretty sure no one has. All we do now is farm his ass. And yep. then I went to the comments on my tweet and Kazahana's video reacting to my tweet. And oh my god, the amount of people trying to say, oh, this is not a Weathering Waves fan. He's definitely a Hoyo chill trying to portray Withering Waves as a back community. Holy fucking conspiracy. These people are so unhinged. Like, first of all, who cares? Second of all, I already received numerous of these. Okay, so you gotta understand, Seorg. It's not as conspiracy theory as you might seem. And you might think. Let, let me tell you why. Because I myself have also had people who say, hey, I'm a part of the Tectone community. And then just start saying every fucking slur in the fucking book. And then you check who they're actually following on Twitch. They've never followed me. They followed other CCs. And people actually do that. And that's why saying, oh, well, it's crazy that they do this. Well, here's the thing, man. Are we really going to be surprised that crazy people do crazy things? No, not particularly. Not particularly. He's from Wuthering Waves people. They, like, this guy didn't know that I'm going to go ahead and make this public. And I did receive a lot of messages. So I don't care which community that came from. But this also showed how a lot of these stands are trying so hard to defend their company and community. Okay, I would say this. The Wuthering Waves community is mostly supportive. That is one of the best communities in Gacha Games. It's it. What the fuck did you just say? Weathering Waves community is mostly supportive. That is one of the best communities in gacha games. It's it's mostly very good. But um How has the Weathering Waves experience been so far? I would say Yeah, I think I think it was pretty good. I think Honkai Star Rails community is usually pretty good too. We've had some stupid booping moments, but that's okay. Yeah, like the, the whole Honkai Star Rail community getting upset about Firefly. Uh, that was cringe as shit. Genshin community has been pretty overall abysmal. Wouldn't recommend anybody sexually identify as a Genshin player. League of Legends is also pretty fucking bad. Yeah, uh, yeah, I would say the Minecraft community, but um, they're kind of just all little kids. Right? So I kind of just don't want to associate with them anyways. To try to paint that none of them is mentally ill. I'm trying to remember uh, what what all what all issues have come from the Wuthering Waves community so far. Other than people constantly saying Wuthering Waves is better than Genshin. And then that's pretty much it, no? I I'm trying to think of if, if anything else. 44111? Eh, who cares? It's a meta take, you know? At least they're not like blowing up cats, you know what I'm saying? So pretty much the only thing about Wuthering Waves community is them saying that our game is better than your game. But I feel like every community does that. That's why they're part of that community. Yeah, so I actually feel like pretty much none so far. But yeah, cool.
and none of them came from Genshin already. Like, what are we doing here? And also, I received a lot of comments saying that, oh, this video is trying to compare two games that can't be compared. Okay, let's... Let uh, every game can be compared to any other game. It might not be a good comparison, but everything can be compared. Let's break this. First, I would say that Weathering Ways and Zelda Zone Zero are 100% contenders now. Okay. Uh, absolutely. They're, they're high combat focused games, which by the way, that has been said by the developers themselves that Zenless Zone Zero is a high focused combat game. They even use the word high level as well. They did. They are very fairly to compare, but here's the thing. Here's what I think it's going to be. I think Zenless Zone Zero is just wuthering waves without an open world, right? And with the... Uh, lack of development time it takes creating these new worlds to explore they're going to put a hyper fixation on prettier animations and more colorful storytelling right however the contents of wuthering waves for the story i do think will be better i think wuthering wave story as of now is actually quite good Hey, they're not the same, and they're not going for the exact same player base, but most gacha games are competing, okay? Yeah, There's I agree. That's a big reason why Kuro tried to push the 1.1 update. And speaking of that, that shit was peak cinema, with one hour of unneeded yapping. Anyway, since yeah, some agree. of these people said that this is a bad comparison, I wanted to compare Weathering Waves with Genshin Impact. So I went ahead and asked Donald Trump, do you think that Weathering Waves is better than Genshin Impact. Damn it, Steelwork, that's the dumbest comparison I've heard all day. Oh, come on. Weathering Waves better than Genshin Impact? Give me a break. Weathering Waves couldn't even make a splash in a puddle compared to the tremendous success of Genshin Impact. It's like comparing a limp noodle to an electrifying explosive fireworks show. Okay, I didn't expect Donald Trump to be a mint picker. <laughs> and let me tell you something, Steelwork. This numbskull, uh, uh, I, Biden, can't even comprehend what we're talking about right now because his brain is more scrambled than my eggs in the morning. And so I want to say that I'm allowed to post whatever I want. It's Trump 2024. It's not like I'm trying to put this in yep. front of you and force yep, you to look at it. You're choosing to and you're getting upset over it. If you don't like somebody on the internet or a content creator, just block them. Like at this point, you, my question is, is this person a fan or a hater? And like a lot of this side of this community is very... Very cringe and i know that most people like what i'm doing trying to expose every extreme part of it either people who are hoyo stands or kuro stands or any stands in general because what these people attempt to do is try to put down your opinion and so they try to make theirs seem better which is so cringe like again i don't like hoyoverse but i'm glad that i tried honkai star rail like i i like the game yeah. so i'm not gonna go ahead and not play zen Le zone zero knowing that i will have fun for free like Holy shit. And of course, I'm not talking about the people that just do not want to play the game. And it's their opinion. They didn't like how the game looked like. Okay, the, the, there's no problem with these people. I'm just saying people who try to say that, okay, Weathering Waves is just better. And Hoyo equals bad, which is not so wrong. But I'm never going to play this game, even though I have no idea what this game is. And I saw no, I, 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 I also think it's very important to acknowledge every game's faults. I mean, if you can't acknowledge the fact that Weathering Waves has some very shit voice acting, well, you are just, in fact, a fucking shill. You know what I'm saying? That being said, I think it's very fair to like your favorite game, but to say that it's better in every aspect, I feel like it's just a little bit, uh, a little bit short-sighted. I believe every game has their own uh, pros and cons. Yes, even Genshin Impact, guys. Even Genshin Impact has some pros. But yeah, the my game's the best game and your game is the worst game that happens over and over and over again. When done not as a joke is pretty brainless to say just stupid and to be fair the latest live stream for the game was kind of mid it didn't give anything that new it also wasn't bad it had some good trailers but i actually thought the live stream really wasn't that bad uh, it just mid by the way can we have one adult in the game of course you know that i'm farming here this is a minority as i said most of the community is good or at least normal people and i had the idea that the reason why people the problem is is that every video games community is represented by the vocal minority and i do believe that every community should have a responsibility to not promote these type of annoying fucking behaviors that every single community seems to be spreading online. Because I feel like if they could just do a little civil war and say, hey guys, I think it's bad to like kids, then maybe they would stop making child character child character. 
people do that is because they spent money on that one game and they don't want their investment to go away but then i received that one comment as the representative of the whale oh community. jesus christ as someone who whales in pgr genshin used to wuwa tower of fantasy used to and associates with people that whaled in these games yep i really do not think we make up the portion of people that are rabid online about other games in my experience most of us spending disposable income that we're fortunate to have and oh know they're just really supporting the game that we want to see succeed if that company burns us genshin and tower of fantasy it's super easy to move on and he's saying that these whales aren't really spending in a sense because they already have an overflow of money but sure. i would agree with that the big whales in the community aren't the problem i would say that the problem in the, is in the dolphins who like spend two thousand dollars in a whole year like a whale can see six a character r5 whenever it come out like or at least one of the characters sometimes but i think the defenders are people who aren't very rich but they spend like a thousand dollars on one of those games are people that are still young and you know kids and they i i really don't think that you can say dollar spend equals uh, equates to how evil you are and the reason why that is is because monetary spending really scales on who you are as a person and sometimes spending 18 hours not spending money could actually be worse than spending a thousand dollars in a day and i want to explain to you how that is you have to understand that time equates to money and every second you're spent relaxing you're not taking the opportunity to make money so if you are neglecting getting a career getting a job getting an education over spending 50 bucks in a day on a character well, it's not really that big of a deal because if you couldn't have made more money in that time, so let me explain what this means, okay? So if you have the opportunity to work a job that would pay you $12 an hour, obviously the $1,000 thing was a, you know, an exaggeration. Uh, my problem is I'm out of touch because I'm a millionaire. $12 equals one hour of work. Okay, well, if you just played the game for eight hours, right, you just lost $96, Right, so there is this no. There's no free to play bullshit when you're actively sacrificing time to play the game because that's just how it goes. And I'll be real: if your time, if your time equals zero dollars, okay, you're either a child or a loser, and nobody cares about your fucking opinion. And that's just how it fucking goes, right? Like you, you that that is just how it fucking goes. Probably spent. Okay, you, you really need to make sure that you are okay in life before sacrificing your entire well-being on just playing a fucking video game. L take, okay, so let me let me ask you a question. How was it an L take that I want the people who play these games to do so responsibly and not ruin their lives by sacrificing all their time to a gacha game company that doesn't give a fuck about you rather than go out, be successful, and get a real job? I want you to tell me how. I want you to tell me how not promoting that lifestyle is a bad idea. Because here's an idea, man. I don't think it's an L take. I think that you're insecure. Because they can't get a job. Oh, really? Why? Are all their legs and arms blown up? Tell me how there is a physical impossibility for any of these players on Earth to either get a job or work towards skills that can further their education in order to get that job at a later date. Let me know how it's impossible. Oh, because they're lazy and fat. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, I'll be real, man. I I'm not going to sit here and s get you guys to humor the idea that attempting to inspire my audience to make sure that they understand that their time is valuable and to spend it the best way possible. That's why I watch Twitch streams. Because I can put it on the side monitor and I can do other shit. That's what's very important. But for video games, you can't exactly put a video game on your side monitor and play itself because then you can't do other shit unless there's autoplay. So no, it's not a fucking L take, bro. You're just stupid as shit and you're lazy. And I'm sorry if that makes you uncomfortable hearing. But you need to understand that your time is worth something. And if your time isn't worth something, you need to make it worth something. That's just my opinion. If you want to get upset about it, go ahead. $20 of their saving on the game and they're now, you know, associated with it. Also, how the hell do we have less subs than Hex Juice? Subscribe now. That was the video. Bye-bye. Very, very, very good video. That being said, I haven't seen the Zenless Zone Zero community be bad yet. Wonder why? Because the game's not even out. How the fuck does the game even have a community? Straight up. How does the game even have a fucking community? It's not even out, bro. It is not out, but I will be playing it. Day one.